Well, here we are on YouTube, and it's a wonderful day in Ryan's garage. Yes, my face is red because Ryan was... No. There's, it, there's no context. People are watching this. Richard, our, pay, our su supporter of our channel via PayPal. This is PayPal, Richard. We, we don't want to be crass. We don't want to be crude. Uh, but if you would like to see the things that you miss between videos... <laughs> <laughs> join our patreon okay um because because on youtube nathan we're nothing but professional we're nothing but uh succinct to the point there's no jocularity in this house none none whatsoever so this is from richard richard thank you so much he gave us a band to listen to called blind faith it looks like it's a super group type of band because nathan if you go to the video go to the video now I am at the video now. It has Eric Clapton, Steve, Steve Winwood, Winwood, Ginger, Ginger Baker, and Robin Leach. So, it, <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> uh, I've never heard of Blind Faith. Have you? Um, no, never. Yeah. Okay. That's oh, it. That's it. I don't know. Back to stoic. You know, okay. you know, you know um, let me just say this. I know nobody watches their channel, but I, I see some reaction channels, and I saw one, the lovely lady. In fact, somebody I think we should interview. It's a reactor that I quite enjoy. She's new. She doesn't need our help. We need hers. No. Uh, she's lovely. She's really cool. I was like, uh, I'm always like hesitant to see new reactors. I'm like, oh, they're probably whatever. But I was just curious to see what... No, 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 oh, no, sorry, no, sorry, no, sorry, no, sorry, no. Sorry, sorry, no. sorry, sorry. I, I digress there for a moment. Are mature. Back to normal. We don't do any chocolate, especially with Richard. He's an older gentleman. No offense, right. Richard. I think you're older because you give us older music to listen to. Maybe he's 15. I don't know. So what I want to say was, did you just, you know what? You chopped your guts. Nathan, this is ridiculous. Okay, you know what? I can't. You did it to me, man. You did it to me I the last video. Not. I did not. I did not. Richard, I'm so sorry. I don't know if Ellie's got to edit this out. If you do edit this out, Ellie... And if anyone's wondering why I'm like this for the rest of the video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to be red the whole time. I just see it coming. All right. All right. <clears throat> Ready? Here we go. <laughs> I was going to say something.
You've probably done a little deep dive here. Not much. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I just wanted to double check that was Steve one would sing. It sounded like him. That was definitely him mm -hmm. singing. Oh, yeah. Uh, I just wanted to get the age of Eric. He's 24, 1969. There was some controversy. I When this album came out, they did an art. There was an art cover, but it was a, a topless 11-year-old girl for their art cover. Oh. Yeah. And the picture's there on Wikipedia. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I don't know. So this weird. I don't know. I think it's too... But what constitutes then, like, I mean, it's just prepubescent girl, but this is weird how it's, well, I don't know what constitutes the laws. I can't say the words on YouTube because you get in trouble, but I'm just curious how that works. I don't understand how they can show that on, anyway. Okay, so uh, I'm surprised that was 69. Absolutely. I thought it was 75. Because uh, I love the 70s recordings. And it had that. I mean, it's right before the '70s started. That that technology, that sound uh, technology, was coming in. Recording studios was just around the corner. Um, but I mean, the guitar solo from Eric was just amazing. And of course, Steve Winwood singing. This is a super group. I don't know the names of uh, Rick Gretsch or Ginger Baker. But here, are they a super group? Yes. That's what I. Yes. Well, no. Uh, like, I'm telling you, that's what they are. This is a super group. It was a one-off album. It was a collaboration of super. These guys are a super group. I just wonder about that though. Like, okay, well, that's all the comments. Well, Eric Clapton and Steve Winwood weren't like at the height of their game in '69. It was like mm. they became that later, and well, so I guess I could just Google it. Like, I just wonder if this was a stepping stone along the way. You know what I mean? Like, they met together, like, hey, let's do a band. No, they have for, they have former bands, Cream, <clears throat> yes, of course, yeah. Traffic, yeah, those are big bands. So, yeah, yeah. Yes. So they actually, yeah, they were already famous from Traffic and Cream. And so, I thought traffic. I thought they were more in the seven, like mid seventies. No, they were too. So traffic and cream were already out and popular. Okay, and then and they, they just, just went like yeah. So Steve and Eric were basically probably the two big. Names. Yeah, the headliners. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, the, I guess that was my curiosity about that was like how did that happen and and because it's it, here. the group originated with informal jamming by Clapton and Winwood in early sixty nine, following the breakups of Cream and Traffic. Oh, okay. There you go. So there was a chance that this could have worked, but. Yeah. It didn't though. It didn't. Okay. Yeah. Why they didn't stay a band, I don't know. People can let us know in the, in the comments. The after we, yeah. Yeah. We won't. We, we're not Wikipedia. Yeah. Um, I love this song. I love that song. I love that it has that same feel of other Steve Winwood stuff. Like my favorite Steve Winwood of all time is "Give Me Some Lovin'" um, from the Spencer Davis Group, which is weird that it's called the Spencer Davis Group. But anyway, um, that's my favorite of all time. And it sounds a little bit like that to me, 
but it does not sound like it's from 69. It's no, not no, like I, I'm, I'm legit surprised. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know they were, I hate to say, playing music like that then, but I guess, yeah, I mean, at some point mm -hmm. they weren't playing this kind of music, but all of a sudden they are. And I love this is the early blues, like kind of rock and roll blues. There's yeah. blues, of course, yeah, yeah. but this is that rock or like guitar solo was ripping solo. I mean, 24-year-old mm -hmm. Clapton. Yeah, no, it was beautiful. You should do some cream too. Hey, Richard, give us some cream. As he not but this is Richard. We're nothing but succinct, professional. Should I tell everyone no. at home what you were doing with that? No, I'm just holding my white rod in my hand. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> I'm okay. sorry, Richard. Richard, cream, cream us. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> no, I meant to give us more. Cream. Just shut up. Just shut up. Okay. What okay, well, said? <laughs> yeah. Back to your corner. All right. Thanks so much for enjoying that with us and uh, putting up with us. I love it. I love Richard for the record. I love his picks, man. They're always yeah. uh, this old school rock, man. I love it. Yeah. We're so glad you're you're part of uh, the team here. I think, yeah, I'm sure it rounds us out to have that side of things. Um, and if you want to join Richard, if you're a fan of this kind of music as well, and you want to join Richard's quest and giving us older music, go ahead. We'd, we'd love to hear it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So thanks so much. We'll see you in the next one.